I wanted to be a writer since I was five years old. I just didn't think it was practical or possible. So I had always written. Academia was supposed to be my, you know, my compromise, the practical thing that I was going to do to make a living and, and instead of trying to be crazy and be an artist. But it turns out that actually it's harder to get a job as a professor than to publish a book. <laughs> So um, this is my book, it's called Coming to My Senses, with a long uh, subtitle that's about uh, a story of perfume, pleasure, and an unlikely bride. So perfume um, was something I didn't think I was interested in at all, until I reached this point in my life where I had, oh, I had given up on all the professional things that I tried to do, and I sort of wanted to be a writer still again for my whole life, but I didn't really know how. So I was doing really boring freelance work, and I had a lot of time to surf around on the internet, and I found these perfume blocks. It had never occurred to me before that you could describe smell, and they were doing it in this incredibly sensual, witty, uh, accurate, vivid way, and I just fell in love with these writers and these blocks, and then of course eventually I had to go smell the perfume. And that led me down this rabbit hole into all kinds of places that I, you couldn't have paid me to go. Fancy department stores, I met this crazy guy half a mile from my house with an entire dilapidated Victorian full of rare aromatics. Uh, I went on something called Sniffapalooza, uh, where people, all, the, all these collectors and people who know each other from the internet come together in New York City and kind of have a conference and descend on the stores. write and read. Yeah, everybody always wants to know how do I get an agent or how do I get published. These are, these are silly questions until you have something that's compelling to present to someone. So the most important thing is to just start practicing and then read, 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 read. Read things you think are terrible so that you know what mistakes to avoid. Read things that are impossibly good so that you have something to shoot for. Read people that you think might talk to you at a cocktail party so you know who your people are and you know who your audience is. For me, the blogs actually became kind of a writing school because I knew how to do this kind of very formal writing that I had learned how to do here. And I had written for newspapers, but I had never written in a kind of an intimate voice where I knew exactly who I was speaking to. And it was really learning how to do that that, that got me the contract.